he wouldn't be in the band or not, so <laughs> we thought we'd get on with it. And we did this gig, a place in London. You're interested in this kind of thing? Yeah! yeah. 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 Good. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll <laughs> spring, <that's> it. <laughs> Mark Key in London, Wardour Street, just up the road for about two months running, there was London's premier punk venue called The Vortex. And it was run by this bloke, what used to be the, room, the road manager for the Sensation Alex Army Band. Johnny's name was, I can't remember oh, his so, and, and then later years, later years, remember when Ronnie Biggs got kidnapped and they was trying to sail him back from the Barbados? <laughs> <laughs> he was the bloke what did it. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. And I kind of I played that one time and I went down there a bit later on with Mick Rodson, who was producing the Redskins thing. And um, all the punks were taking a Mickey out of his long hair, so I said, Look, turn your colour up. But in front was this guy on the door, and there was these two kind of beautiful people in like flowing scarves and flares and kind of hairy and stuff. But looking good. <laughs> <laughs> and as we got to the front of the queue, he's going, I don't fucking care who you are, you're not coming in. And it was quite good with him, share, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so, I'm going with this story. So this is the guy who got the title of the song from. Because when we played, we were growing our hair out a little bit, just the kind of. Uh, There's no I've seen the real stories, Glenn. Uh, all right, well, I have. If you, if you wait to the end of it, <laughs> you'll hear the whole story. And then you could go, that was a real story. Right. Yeah, well, I, guess, I, mean, I can actually hear every word you're saying, which is kind of good. But people pay to come and see me. And I thank you very much. Yeah. So, anyway, we come on stage looking a little bit kind of different from the punk thing. Somebody wrote a review of the band and said, We look, came on stage looking like the Ghost of Princes and Towers. And around about that stage, all the Teddy Boys were chasing the punks around in London. And the punks were chasing the mods, and the mods were chasing their skinheads. And I didn't understand why, to be forward looking, you had to stay somebody's head in. <laughs> even Slender, when he came over with the strikeouts for the first time, he said, I don't get it here, mate. You know, in, in America, it's just the streets against the, you know, it's the hipsters against the squares. But anyway, this song goes like this. I haven't forgotten it, I'm trying to set the mood. <laughs>
think I've got blues in my mouth, but I've got to get. Yeah. 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 Yeah.